In these problems, we are calculating the probability of some events, such as pulling uh, socks or shirts from a drawer of different colored socks or shirts or crayons from a box. When we uh, express the probability of something, we usually express it as a fraction. And that fraction can be created by putting the number of outcomes that make the event you want to happen on top and the total possible number of outcomes on the bottom. Let's see how that works in this first problem. It says a drawer is filled with nine black shirts, six white shirts, and five gray shirts. One shirt is chosen from the drawer. Find the probability that it's not a white shirt. Okay. The first thing we need is the total possible number of outcomes. So that's the bottom of our fraction. Uh, you're picking one shirt out of this many shirts. The total um, number of outcomes is all of these shirts. So we want to add them together. 9 plus 6 is 15 plus 5 is 20. The bottom of our fraction is going to be 20. You're going to pick one out of those 20 shirts. Now, the probability that it's not a white shirt is the probability that it's either gray or black. So 9 plus 5 is 14. So when you're picking a shirt out of this pile, you have a 14 chances out of 20 to get a black or a gray, which is not a white shirt. So we would put 14 on top. So on top is the number of outcomes that um, result in what we're looking for, which is not white. And on the bottom is the total number of possible outcomes. And then uh, if we can, we need to simplify. Here we can. These are both divisible by 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 20 divided by 2 is 10. So our probability here is 7 tenths. Pretty good chance you're not going to get a white shirt. Let's look at this second one. It says a box is filled with five red crayons, nine blue crayons, six yellow crayons. A crayon is chosen at random from the box. Find the probability that it is a red or a blue crayon. So again, we're going to need the total number of crayons, and that's going to go on the bottom of our fraction. So 5 and 9 is 14 and 6. Oh, it's 20 again. And uh, we want to find the probability that it is a red or a blue. So there are 5 red and 9 blue. So again, we have 14 out of 20. So that's the chance it's red or blue. Uh, and again, this simplifies to 7 tenths. So that is how to find the probability of picking a certain color shirt or sock or crayon from a box.